We're also learning more about the weapon that was used in the shooting at Trump's rally. Authorities say it was an AR-15 style rifle that was purchased by the gunman's father. CBS 19's Ayana Aird spoke to a local gun shop to find out more about the weapon and clear up some misconceptions. Not designed to be a lethal round. It was made to injure. Um, not typically something that a sniper in the Army would choose by any means. Are we serious? So, this is what happens when media has no idea what they're talking about. So, I'm not against the media. I don't really watch the news, but this is this article when we're, we're the, this video when we're going to watch it. It's it's comical. So, myth number one: uh, the two two three, the five five six. However, you want to wrap your head around it, is designed to kill okay um that is a very large urban myth urban legend however you want to say it but it's designed to kill so the fact that you have this marketing manager for this texas gun shop showing you that she has just not a clue what she's talking about so let's keep watching Cameron Tolson works as the marketing manager at Winchester Sportsman Outfitters in Longview. She says the range and accuracy of this type of weapon depends on the skill of the shooter as well as other factors, including training and accessories. So what she just said there, quote unquote, I, I agree. So um, we have many factors that go into shooting and a lot of people don't understand them. Uh, they just think they can go to the range, they buy a, they buy their, their rifle and it's ready to go. So um, what she's meaning is that the AR platform can come in many different shapes and sizes. So I have an AR-15 right here that shoots a 5.56, 223. I also have another rifle right here. So looks pretty similar, right? Pretty darn close. One shoots a 223, which is this big. The other that I picked up shoots this. So um, you can definitely tell the size and the actual bullet. Both of them are designed to kill. Also, both of them with the right training can be accurate to you know, three plus hundred yards. Um, the 223 obviously has more powder in the casing, so it has more pressure. It's gonna be able to be pushed farther. Where the, you know, the 22, uh, what people don't realize is Olympic shooting, that's what they use. So, you know, they can go pretty far with the right equipment. So, let's get back to it. And you're not gonna be very accurate past 50 yards, especially if you're not very trained as a shooter. Whereas you can get into something with an optic and you'll be a little bit more accurate into about 150, 200 yards. So this one is equipped with a red dot, whereas this has just got the flip up open sights. <laughs> so <laughs> putting an optic on a rifle doesn't make it more accurate. It makes it easier for you to aim down range and be able to acquire your target and put you know shots on target but it doesn't just automatically make your rifle more accurate the rifle itself by adding an accessory like that does not inherently make it more accurate that's like saying i put a bumper sticker on my car it gained five horsepower according to the washington post about one in 20 adults in the u.s owns an ar-15 but not everyone is a fan i do not personally own an ar-15 nothing against them it's just not anything i'd um care for uh, there an AR-15 can be used for anything from target shooting to um, hunting uh, it's not just a military weapon so of course they got a customer who is against the AR-15 so what they're doing there the media is trying to say you know like they're okay but not everyone needs one right that's kind of the what they're going here and this is surprising that this is in Longview, Texas, you know, um, it just goes to show you that one, just because, <laughs> uh, you have a position doesn't mean, uh, you know what you're talking about, 
do also just shows how biased and uninformed the media is um, or the people covering these stories and making these stories they're just they're hastily getting it out because it's the next big thing and they just have no idea what they're talking about the ar-15 is a semi-automatic firearm semi-automatic bruh do we let's rewind that she just said, and this is the news reporter, this is the one covering the story, goes, the AR-15 is a simmer automatic rifle. Do you know what that is? Because I don't. If you know what that is, put that in the comments. Explain to me what a simmer automatic rifle is. That's not a mix-up. These are pre-recorded. They are edited. They are viewed by multiple people. Um, they are not just something done on your phone while you're driving and you upload it. This is a television station that has many editors, and this is this is wild. But this is the stuff. The like I was saying, they just they have no idea what they're talking about. So she is correct. Um, the AR platform is designed. It is a semi-automatic rifle, and every time the trigger is pulled one round, one of these is fired, then another one is automatically loaded. So every time you pull the trigger, one bullet comes out. That is semi-automatic. We can get into that into another video, but that's all that means. That means after the shooter pulls the trigger to fire, the next round is automatically loaded into the chamber. The 223 was really not originally designed to be a lethal round. It was more designed to injure whenever it was designed for army use, whereas something like a 308 bullet is going to be a lot more deadly. It can... So obviously, it's going to carry a lot more of a punch. So 22, 2223. Not really crazy, but there's a big size difference. This is this is gonna have a bigger punch than this. When you do this to a 308, bigger bullet, more powder. This is gonna be just a bigger, heavier, you know, piece of metal getting thrown at you. So obviously it's more deadly. As you get in the bullets that get larger, they get more deadly. That is the entire concept of ballistics. But the fact that she is pushing this agenda again, that the 223 is not made to, in, uh, to, to kill, it's made to injure, is, I just don't, I don't understand what, where people get that. And they run with these things. Carry a lot more of like a punch. These are just a lot lighter, so it was a lot easier for the Army to carry, say, 150 of these for the weight of 50 of these. Okay, so she obviously, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock her. Uh, she does have a point there. Uh, this at 210 rounds, um, I'm assuming it'd be maybe uh, you know seven magazines, uh, you know two two three five five six. Uh, you know is obviously a lot lighter than this, so that was one of the thought processes when they were selecting it, but. If you know anything, uh, the new Army combat rifle, um, the SIG, carries something like this big. So they're obviously going to this round, so they realize that this round and that round, yes, does make a difference, but is it, you know, isn't it better to have a, a bigger bullet in war? Hence the purpose of the Army. Tolson also points out the AR in the name of the weapon doesn't stand for assault rifle or automatic rifle. It stands for Armalite, the company that developed the firearm in the 1950s. It was considered revolutionary for its lightweight. All right. She's exactly right there. The AR does not stand for automatic rifle, assault rifle. It just doesn't. It's... Armalite is the first designer. So I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret on um, one of our upcoming videos. So that is an AR-15. I 
the KS firearms have a KF-15. Doesn't really mean much. It's still the same platform. KF-15. Just the name. Not a function. So whenever the Army designed these rifles to go out and shoot, this is going to be a lot easier to carry around due to weight versus a whole magazine of these. Gun owners say just like any weapon, safety is key. Gun safety is important and it starts at home. You should train your children in the use of firearms. Really it all comes down to firearm safety. For those that do own any gun, but especially AR-15 rifles, just make sure that you always keep your guns unloaded when you're not in use. Keep it on safety. Make sure you never point at anyone, that you never, ha you always treat any gun loaded or unloaded like it is able to harm someone. And then keep a trigger lock on it. In Longview, I'm Ayana Eric, CBS 19. I believe firearm safety is important. So there's some things in there, take what you will from it. Um, some of it's goofy, some of it's not. But at the end of the day, firearm safety is important. There's two aspects of that. One is safety. It's understanding the fundamentals, you know, finger off the trigger, don't point anything that you, you know, intend not to kill or eat. Um, you know, then you have your fundamentals, breathing, stuff like that. But the other one is, is just knowledge, right? So instead of teaching your kids that guns are bad and scary, why not teach them what they do so they can understand? Um, you know, it's the old, if the child sticks his uh, fork in the outlet, right? Shocks them, hand on the hot stove, you know, burns them. They learn, right? So they don't do those things again. So if you teach the child about what a firearm, what a, what a rifle, what a gun, whatever it is, does. They have a good understanding of this is what could happen if I do this. So there's that aspect too. You know, it's not just, oh, you know, children, you know, 60 years ago were being taught how to shoot in schools. Um, there was classes. They were, you know, there was groups. There's after, you know, weekend summer programs where they did that. There's Olympic shooting. Like these are all things that are part of our nation's history that we just, you know, X off. So, um, at the end of the day, if you guys like these videos and you want to see more of them, like, comment, and subscribe. I can't grow without you guys. And knowing what content you guys like, I just keep putting it out. So if you guys really like this video, make sure to let me know, you know, show me some support.